Rotisserie food is fantastic. The problem is you need big pieces of equipment, there's usually some sort of fire involved, a lot of cooking know-how, and it just takes so much time. And if you're cooking outside, you can be affected by the weather, the bugs, the season, makes no difference. Well, did you know that your Instant Vortex 7-in-1 countertop oven also comes with a rotisserie built in? In fact, all you need is the spit, and our two little claws here, and you can make some delicious creations right on your own countertop. So let's get to it. We're gonna show you how to make a chicken, just like those rotisserie chickens we all love and pick up at the end of a long work day, and a prime rib. I don't even wanna tell you what I spent on this. Let's get these ready. So the first thing you wanna do is pat down your chicken just to get that excess moisture off of there. There we go, and don't forget to dig in there for those gizzards and necks in case they've stuck them in there. Nobody wants those. So we're gonna go ahead and pop on some rubber gloves for these. I like to start off with a little bit of cooking oil. It's got a high smoke point, and it's certainly gonna help brown this up. Now, some people like to put melted butter on there. It's totally your choice. And while we're at it here, let's go ahead and take off some of this excess skin. If we were cooking it in the oven, maybe, or if we were doing it on our countertop oven here on roast, or broil or bake or whatever it is you decide to do. It's not a big deal. In fact, sometimes it's pretty tasty, but when you work with a rotisserie, you wanna be careful of anything dangling down. No danglers. So the next thing we wanna do before the spices is tie our chicken. That's just gonna hold the legs and the wings in place. Now, normally I would show you how to tuck those little uh, kind of wing tips inside, but it looks like the butcher just took those clean off. Good thing I didn't want to munch on those. Here's a little hint for you if you don't have that second finger to put on there like that just go ahead and wrap this underneath a couple of times and then when you pull it tight it grabs like somebody's holding it on for you and you can finish that knot without having to go crazy over the twine try that works pretty good And now that our chicken is tied up, snug as a bug in a rug, we're gonna take our spit rod, just like I would on my big giant pieces of equipment outside, and we're just gonna kind of feed it through, getting it as centered as we can. So now, this is where you wanna use the little hooks. And you're just gonna feed that in on one end. And now it's the fun part. Grab your favorite spice, or better yet, a combination of them. Dig through that cupboard, try out some new flavors. It's always fun, and the reason that I put all of this on the spit beforehand is so that this is nice and easy to rotate so we can get all sides. Remember, we're not making this in a pan in the oven. It's not gonna sit in its own juices as it cooks. It's gonna rotate and it's gonna roast in its own juices. So we get that spice 360 degrees all the way around that beautiful bird. There we go. Couldn't be any easier. So now let's get it in the oven. Every Instant Vortex oven comes with a tool that helps you take that rotisserie spit rod in and out of the oven, making it really, really simple. So let me show you how we're gonna set up our time and our temperature. I'm gonna set this to roast, yum, and I'm gonna set the time to 45 minutes. Now that's about a five and a half pound to six pound chicken. That's about how long that's gonna to take to get that to 165 degrees internally. You always wanna double check before you serve it, especially with chicken and poultry. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit that start button and grab, grab that chicken. Man, does that look good. And just set it inside. There's two guardrails that show you where to place this. All you're gonna do when you get to the end is push this red button right here to the side, and that locks it securely in place. So now all I'm gonna do is hit the button that says rotate. Now I've got a rotisserie on my countertop that I can use 365 days a year, winter, spring, summer, fall, rain or shine. That's very cool. And remember, these are great in the RV, the camper. These are fantastic for the dorms. Anywhere you've got about one square foot of counter space, you've got a seven in one oven that does everything from air frying to roasting, to baking, to broiling, to dehydrating, and yep, a rotisserie oven. Let's get to that prime rib. Our chicken's doing great, so now it's time for our prime rib. And I mean, you don't wanna trust a cut like this to just anything. 
rotisserie cooking is such a great way to make this as opposed to like smoking or in the oven or something. A lot of it has to do with this fat cap. In a smoker or the oven, you put the fat cap up and hope that it renders into the meat. Problem is, underneath gets burnt and soggy. With a rotisserie, especially on the cut of meat like this, you get that 360 degree cooking. And with the instant vortex, you get it on your countertops. Let's get this ready. Just like with the chicken, I'm gonna wanna go ahead and give this a couple of rounds with the twine just to keep everything tight inside the oven. Remember, it does absolutely nothing to affect the taste or texture of anything you ever cook in here. All it does is ensure that you don't have to do any adjusting during the cook, like even have to do outside sometimes. And remember that little trick. Just go back and forth in there a few times and you don't need that second finger in there to hold everything in place. Now, I recommend standing this up on end when it comes time to put the spit rod in. That way you've got a really good idea of what's centered in the prime rib so you know that it's gonna be centered in the machine. I think that looks pretty good. So while we're at it, let's go ahead and put our top claw in place. And you can always center this once you've got it in so you know it's perfect inside the rotisserie. Let me tighten this up and that's it. It's ready to go in. So now at the end, this is the fun part. Get inventive with your spices. Here's what we've done for this. I've got a basic salt, pepper, and garlic mixture, but then I threw in some smoky paprika, a little cayenne for a bit of zip, and some chili powder just to bring it all together. So for a prime rib roast, just like our chicken, we're gonna set this on roast, and I'm gonna change my temperature to 350 degrees. And as far as time goes, I'm pretty sure that a five to six pound roast is gonna start looking pretty good at about an hour and 20 minutes. I like to set this for an hour. That reminds me to double check it, and then I know exactly how much more time to put on. Remember, a thermometer in the kitchen is your best friend. So we're gonna use the same tool and hook the spit just like that. Open up our oven, remove racks if you've got them in there, of course always leave that bottom one in. And we're just going to slide it down the rail, and once we get to the end, just click that rest button and it locks everything in place. Now let's go ahead and close this up. Now we're going to hit that rotate button on our touch screen, and there it goes. This is going to be so delicious. And it really is that simple and that easy to create incredible meals for your family in such a small footprint on any countertop of your life. I'll see you in just a few minutes to check out this chicken and then a couple minutes after that for that pot roast. Man, start to smell good in here. And just like that, our chicken's done. Now remember, everything in here is good and hot, so it's a good time to grab some oven mitts or cloth gonna help you get that out of there. And the same tool that you use to put the spit in is what you're gonna use to take the spit out. So let's open this up. And remember, that red button just needs a little click to the side. That unlocks it. And then you can take it right out. Man, does that ever look good? So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and take the claw out just like that. You literally need to do one side to get this off because it's just got pump right up the other side like that. Then we're gonna go ahead and cut that string off. Let's go ahead and dive right in.
And now it's time to check out our prime rib. So like with any good cut of meat, you're gonna to wanna to let it rest for about 10 to 15 minutes. That's what we've done here. And now we're gonna use the same tool that we put it in with to take it out with. It just hooks underneath the spit, push the red button, it releases it and out it comes. And man, does that look perfect. Holy cow. No fire, no barbecue, no mess, no worrying about weather, bugs, gas, wood, just perfect rotisserie food every single time. That's what Instant's doing for you on your countertop. Now, let's have a peek at this. What makes rotisserie cooking special is you get that 365 degree crust. It's the only way you're gonna do it. You can't do it in an oven, you can't do it on a grill top, only in a rotisserie. And that's usually been reserved for people with a big backyard with lots of equipment and the time and the know-how. Now, anybody can enjoy this kind of meal, this kind of prime rib, anytime you want. It's as easy to make as a hot dog on a Tuesday night. And just look at that. Oh, oh my. So our prime rib took about one hour and 20 minutes for a perfect rare prime rib. It's beautiful. Now, if you're gonna serve this throughout the evening, that's where you wanna keep that temperature. So as you keep it warm, it doesn't get too overcooked. If you wanna step up to that medium rare, medium, medium well, or well done, add five to seven minutes of cooking time to bring it up each level. That's a little tip that'll help you along in your cook. Guys, get familiar with your Instant Vortex oven, learn its little secrets, and you're gonna be enjoying meals like this in no time. Oh. All right, that's as good as any steakhouse that I'm gonna find in town. That's fantastic. Well guys, I hope you've had a good time learning a little bit more about the rotisserie function on your Instant Vortex oven. If you've got any more questions, pop them in the comments below, recipes you'd like to see, or anything from the Instant family that we can give you some tips and tricks on. My name's Mark Gill, we'll catch you on QVC for some live shows. In the meantime, check us out on Marks on the Grill and Fort View Academy. Follow us for more, and better yet, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video.